Hey, what's up, dudes? My name is Silver. Welcome to Animal Crossing New Horizons. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. And do you like this outfit, by the way? Oh my god, the fedora and the neckbeard. I love it. Hello there, everybody. My name is Silver, and welcome to Animal Crossing. How very exciting. Uh, how do I revert my outfit? Let's go back to normal, shall we? Okay, cool. So, then, everybody. This game is actually pretty cool, and I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I have been, so I thought I would do a little bit of a tour of my island. How very exciting. So, here we have my little house area. Uh, I have black, mainly black accents on my house. I think it looks pretty cool. I have sort of a Japanese theme going on here with bamboo and rocks around here, and it's pretty neat. I would show you the inside of my house, but that is misleading for the title of this video. This is an island tour, not a house tour. My house isn't anything particularly amazing to speak of. Anyways, let us move on down here. I have this little rock arch thing. That's fun. And uh, lilies were the natural f uh, flower of my island, so I have just sort of wild lilies going along here. Why not? And as we move over here, there's this thing that I built over here, and I just made it a bit more interesting for you guys just now. I increased the length of my waterfall. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, yes. So this river was natural, and I sort of made it into this other thing. And I made this whole waterfall with these flowers and stuff. It's very nice. I like... Ooh, I didn't mean to jump over there, but whatever. I like the mushrooms when it was autumn, so I have a whole bunch of mushroom things. Uh, get the, get the ladder. Okay, there we go. Alright, so then we go down here. Go down the thing! Uh, this side of the island, there isn't really much. I had, I used to have an absolute ton of coconut trees. You can sort of see the remnants of that there. But I realized it was just too many, so I cut most of them down. But anyways, uh, I'm still not sure about this little area here. I wanted, I wanted my lake to be a little bit bigger, and I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do about this, but whatever. I would like to move my museum up to this empty flat area here at some point, but uh, that's a bit of a work in progress. Uh, I want to have sort of the museum on an elevated layer way at the back here, so I'll go up one more layer and put the museum on top of it, and then, I don't know, I don't know, it's all a bit of a work in progress. This game is kind of cool, I like the imagination and the the amount of building and stuff you can do, but at the same time, like, the terraforming and the building is, it's so much effort, it's just, it's so much effort. Even this small project making this little grotto, I, I call it the grotto, oh yes, even this little project took, you know, a fair while. Oh, I, I jumped to the thing again, and that's fine, this is fine. Yep. I just made these paths, so that's kind of cool, and I have a whole bunch of lilies. Uh, the reason I have a ton of red lilies over there is because I was trying to get black lilies at one point, so... I just never bothered to get rid of the red lilies. And then we go around here, and you can have another little view of the area. Oh my, how exciting. Alright, let's go up around here and check out the rest, shall we? Alright, so we've got a few more trees around here. The main source of income for me is still fruit. I am still a bit of a pleb. Uh, I've heard the better ways to make money are fr uh, veg vegetables, der, bringing bugs and fish when you get these specific bug and fish guys who sell you more things, but I, I don't really know. It's kind of it's kind of meh. I have this little pier here. That's fun. Ooh, let's catch a fish, shall we? Let's see what kind of fish that is. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeet. That's not a good, that's not a good cast, Bob. You hate to say it. Alright, I'm gonna catch this darn fish. Um, you know what? Screw it, dude. Screw it. Screw you, fish. No one likes you. Alright, here we have one of my villagers. This is Bree, who I don't particularly like. I put her house on the outskirts because I want her to feel isolated, and I honestly want her to move. I know. I'm sorry. She's a weird little mouse, and she has this green... Th I actually haven't been in her house before. She's got a spa. That's kind of legit. Wow. How's it going, Bree, you weird mouse thing? I don't know about the mouse villagers, guys. They just... They just don't do it for me. Their proportions, they just look weird. What are you up to? I'm working on a palm tree lamp. Oh, how exciting. It's really quite exciting. I'd be more than happy to teach you how. I'm sure it is exciting. Her catchphrase is cheese ball as well, which, like, a cheese ball? Like, that just sounds kind of gross, and she's... Got, like, weird spinachy hair. Whatever, dude. Just give me the thing. Get away from me, Bree. Leave the island, you fool. All right, bye. Yeah, I kind of just put her house there because, I don't know, I can't freaking come up with an idea of where else to put it, whatever. Anyways, moving on from there, I have this little area. I built this little courtyard with these 
land wars and stuff. And there's one of my newer villagers. Hello, friend. Hello. Uh, what's your name again? Poppy. Painfully cute. Painfully cute, this little squirrel thing. I've been meaning to ask you about all the fossils you dug up yesterday, Jack69. Have you assembled them yet? It'd be so great if they turned out you found something rare. Yes, indeed. I'm still working on getting fossils. I like chatting with Blathers. He's a cool dude. He's a cool dude. Anyways, here we have two more of my villagers' houses. Uh, I can't remember who lives in them. Uh, this is awkward. This is awkward. Anyways, we're getting into the main corner of my town here. Ooh, here's another new villager. Uh, this guy, this girl, moved in recently, actually. Stella is pretty cute. She's a goat, and her catchphrase is "bada bing," which you like to see it. I actually have a few uh, S-tier villagers that I'm quite proud of. I have Lucky and I have Merang. Lucky's pretty cool. He's like this mummified dog, and he's like you know been hit by a car or something. He's uh, his house is really creepy, dude. It's like a graveyard, and the ground is like really squishy and muddy pretty weird. Anyways, there's my shop. We've got an open sign. And you can see what I've been doing with my museum here. The reason I want to move it is so that I can have more cool fossils out the front. Ooh, how exciting. I have a plesiosaur, which is one of my all-time favorite dinosaurs, and a T-Rex. Am I the only one who was super into dinosaurs as a kid? Like, I swear to God, dude, I used to read dinosaur books all the time, dude. All the time. Oh, man, the amount of dumb dinosaur facts I could... Oof, oof. Good times, good times. Anyways, we've got the town hall here. Blah, 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 blah. Alfonso, my dude. I love Alfonso. He's pretty great. Talk to me like lovers do. That's actually kind of weird. It's a me. Huh. He's mentioning the person who made my shirt. That's interesting. Saber from Sandgrave designed it. Wow. I totally downloaded that off the internet, dude. I actually didn't know that. So if you didn't notice, you can see... Well, it's kind of hard to see, but I have this uh, custom-designed shirt. It's Snom from Pokemon, and it's a little Snom with love hearts. I love this shirt. It's pretty great. Uh, also, guys, if you're wondering why my movements look a little weird, I'm staring at my OBS capture, and things are a little bit laggy in between the actual game and the capture. It's just easier this way. I, I can face my microphone, so, you know, whatever. Whatever. Anyways, moving on from there, we have my flower garden. How oh, exciting. Honestly, I'm kind of sit can kind of sin considering, considering I'm kind of considering just yeeting all my flowers and just having something else in this area because like watering all these sons of bitches every day I just I cannot to be bothered I cannot to be bothered anymore if you're wondering why my flowers are watering it was snowing earlier today so there's the reason for that anyways uh, cool flower garden aside we move into one of the features that I'm quite proud of on this island I looked up a tutorial or I found it online for a bridge so this isn't a bridge in the actual sense, it just sort of looks like a bridge with the way Animal Crossing is all circular. If you have your camera at the normal angle, like this, you can see the illusion kind of goes, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I uh, just got some stone paths and some stone walls and made sort of a bridge thing. And if there was more water around here, then the illusion would be complete and it would look more like a bridge. So that's kind of why I want to make it bigger and get rid of my flower garden. Anyways, moving on from there, we here we have... Here, there, everywhere, right here we have the orchid. So I have nice trees in neat little rows for specific fruit. And I got some custom designs of what the trees are. So here we have apples, we have pears, we have cherries, and we have peaches. Very, very nice. And a little rim of white and red lilies. How very exciting. Oh my goodness gracious me. All right then, everybody. That's about all the features of my island. Very nice. Oh my god, the lag between the OBS capture is real, guys. Whoa. Here's my campsite. Not a whole lot going on here. And a little campsite sign. How very exciting. Yes, as I was saying, guys, Animal Crossing is actually pretty cool, and I was surprised at how much I got into it. I wasn't expecting that I would like this game, and, you know, here we are. Oh, there's one last thing I can show you guys, my freaking band stage area. Yes, yes. So I collected a whole bunch of instruments. Or rather, they were given to me mainly by friends, so this is fun. The drum kit. God, dude, I wish I still had a drum kit in real life. In IRL, uh, good times, good times. I've got a keyboard and a few guitars and stuff, and it's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. Anyways, guys, uh, may as well go explore my house really quick. Why not? Island tour and full house tour. Here we go. 
All right, so as we enter the house, you can see I've gone for a Japanese vibe because of course I have, I'm a filthy weeb. So I've just kind of put things around randomly. I don't know, I got a little TV in the corner there and the fox masks and stuff and uh, totally not Japanese welcome mat and plasma lamps and stuff. Uh, let's go into this room. Now here is my bathroom. I have, I think this is kind of hilarious. Wait, let's go go the other way. My God, the lag is real. I have a shower booth and a shower on the wall, which is incredibly unnecessary, but I like it. Uh, two baths and a toilet and stuff. Pretty pretty bougie bathroom with a golden wall. It looks pretty dope. Anyways, on to the next. On on to the next. <laughs> Here is my gymnasium, or gym as some might call it. I have the protein powder up here, a radio to get my pump on, and a punching bag. Yeet. I don't know why I've collected glasses here. I just think those glasses are kind of cool. And uh, yeah, that's the gym. I've got little bobblehead dudes down here too. They're fun. Nice. And over here on the left, we have my kitchen, which is looking pretty spicy. I don't like that bench counter that I have there. I've had some trouble finding benches and countertops, as you can see. So I just have some basic kind of tables and this diner countertop, which really doesn't fit. But I got a rice cooker and all that stuff. Nice little cuckoo clock. Yeah, microwave and all that stuff. Sort of kitcheny, but it's a little bit small in here for my liking. Yes, yes. Anyways, let's check out the upstairs and the basement. How exciting. I've essentially beaten the game, by the way, if you could consider beating this game at all. I've paid off all my uh, home loans to Tom Nook. Tom Crook, I don't owe him any more money, so I would call that beating the game, having paid off every bill to Tom Crook, you know, whatever. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing with my upstairs and downstairs. I haven't really got any sort of theme going on. I have this random mahjong thing, and I have this stream set up where I can record myself playing piano. Yay. Ah, uh, just like I would like to do in real life. Spoilers, or fun fact rather, I would like to learn piano IRL, but I don't know, I'm a lazy son of a bitch and I can't be bothered getting energy to do anything. I don't know, whatever. Piano is just a cool instrument, I think. Anyways, anyways, let's check out my basement. And lo and behold, my basement has absolutely nothing in it. Get jubated, oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing with these bigger rooms. Maybe I could move my bathroom down here so I have more space. But I don't know. I don't know. We're for kind of a creepy sort of red theme. Maybe I can just make this like a murder dungeon or something. <laughs> a bunch of skeletons in there or something. Mm, that'd look good. Yes, interesting, interesting. Alrighty then, guys, that'll about do it for my Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing. I don't know why I said it so many times. I'm having a... Uh, never mind. Uh, that'll about do it for my island review, guys. Just a quick look around. I guess I'll just show you this quick little town square that I made. I mentioned skeletons before, so you can get these little things, which is kind of fun. Blurg. Very nice. This was the one of the first projects I built with my first villagers moving in here. So yeah, it's it's still pretty basic. I this uh, I'm just now realizing this this pathway is a mess. Like just what is this? Mm, 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 mm. All right then, guys. This game is a bit of fun and it's very cute and silly. And I don't know why I, I don't know why I continue to play it. To be honest, it's. I don't know, it's just a bit of fun, but you know, whatever, whatever. Alright then everybody, thank you for watching this silly little video, that was a look at my Animal Crossing Island, and uh, yes, I'm just flexing on the fact that I'm able to record Switch games really, this has been interesting. Okay then everybody, Alfonso and I bid you a farewell, and I'll see you all in the next one guys. Bye!